I'm tall. I come from tallish people. I'm six foot one. Uh, in rollerblades, I'm like six nine. It's great for dating. Um, just find a lot of guys who are like, we love, she's so big. We love that so much. <laughs> what if I had a full meltdown and just Barbara Walters started sobbing? I am so happy with how life turned out for me. It's great. I found a place that sells long jeans. You know, ever since then, it's been just like really, really wonderful. Oh, good. Like namaste, but sassy. I love makeup. I mean, I am a Sephora Rouge member. That means that they just take it directly out of my paycheck. When people are like, what's your look? I always say slutty panda. Like, smoke me out here to the hairline. Do like a pop of gloss. Amadeus style, center of the lips, and just push me into traffic. I love a contour. You know, men are very unlucky because if you're like a bloated man, well, you're pretty much <laughs> Basically, you have to believe it, it's PBS. Women, we can paint a day of the dead skull on top of our own face and pretend that that is what we look like. My mom is my biggest publicist. She is in Miami. She used to work at J. Crew. Her name's Judy, they called it Judy Crew. Every time people came into J. Crew, she, with their pants, would like submit a headshot of mine. Be like, enjoy your cashmere. This is my daughter. She lives in New York. She's very successful. The big picture for me has always been having my own late night show. Let me do that again late nighty. It's all white guys hosting late night shows right now. It's fine, I don't think it's a problem. I love that Samantha Bee is hosting Full Frontal on TBS. I just feel like talking about white guys in late night is the new white guy on late night. It's so boring, it's so played out. We all know what's happening. Let's just move on and change it. If you're a really funny woman, of course it's a great time right now. I think it was a great time 10 years ago when you had Kathy Griffin. 20 years ago you had Joan Rivers. Can I be honest, I find it annoying that funny women always have to talk about being a funny woman. It's frustrating to me because I feel like I'm above that. I'm a funny person. Like, why do I have to now harp on how many funny women there are? We're not charity cases. We're talented. It's like done. I'm Michelle Collins, and this is my brief but spectacular take on Stop Asking Me What It's Like to Be a Woman in Comedy.